And here we are currently sat on the ocean as happy as a man can be i'm just on the north side of flamborough head and i'm going to work my way south and then hopefully if the weather stays good i'm going to try find a place to camp out for the evening but i mean already it's just so exciting just to get out here the uh, sea itself is a uh, given sort of just sort of flat to one foot waves which is pretty much nothing so just a nice day just to sort of explore around the sort of cliff edges and things and there's tons of caves so hopefully we're going to get in and just sort of show you guys exactly what this UK coast coastline has to offer so let's bash on Tiny little hole ahead here, but it is tight. I don't want to wreck my boat. Let the tide take me. into a rock then could not see it just about eight inches under the water Bay. Just out of all this choppy water. You've got to be a bit careful when the, the waves are just sort of crashing against these rocks because obviously it's very easy to push you flat against it and it's hard and sharp some of it so yeah unforgiving. Yeah it's nice just to take these moments have a quick rest. Yeah, you have to be alert all the time, that's why. What a place though. 
Well, I just headed north slightly, half a mile up the coast, just have a look around the corner really, but it's just teeming with wildlife. The amount of birds just fluttering about all over, it's like being at King's Cross Station in London. Just stunning though already. So, from here, let's head south and have a proper good look through all the different caves we can find. And there are quite a few. peaceful as soon as you come inside. Flatter water. What a place. Not a bad one just to get started in. Fairly big is this. But there's definitely more to see. So good, so good to be out, yes, just awesome, absolutely awesome. Incredible. I come out to this side, I've got puffins just sat here on this side. Wow, just amazing.
water inside it's actually quite nice just to get out of the bouncing choppy water <laughs> eat a banana this To be beside the seaside. Oh, I do like to be beside the sea. Oh, there's lots of birds besides. I should like to be besides, besides the seaside, beside the sea. It is actually incredible here. I'm just sat underneath a cliff at the minute. I'll just show you. And the noise that just comes off the cliffside with the tens of thousands of birds that just sat up there. It's just amazing, it really is. I've 
had a couple of the, the young birds that have just sort of like thrown themselves off the cliff for the first time in front of my boat. And that's them into the water. It's the first time they're out there to swim, to have their first effort of flying. Tell you what, it's relaxing. I mean, the problem with uh, being in a kayak, you're constantly having to make sure that you are keeping yourself upright. Great, I've just been shat on. <laughs> it's good luck, apparently. Stop bombing me. Stop bombing me, I mean you no harm. <laughs> yeah, nice to chill out for a bit. But it doesn't stop. You can't rest properly. You've got to get on. Keep moving. Currently washing the bird shit off. <laughs> wow. These caves are just endless. Arch after arch. Amazing. This just opens up into a stunning place. Very calm. We've got a way out on that side. And I'm just into a little bay. Lovely. Just lovely. Yeah, a lot of these seals are just sleeping. I'm just going to creep up onto one now. It's absolutely amazing. It's so intriguing. It's just so special to sort of be here and be able to experience it. Here he is again, my mate. ride. There's a few of his buddies around as well just trying to get a look in.
amazing, absolutely amazing. <laughs> Little flare for bless them. Just so intrigued, I love it. Oh dear, special moments, eh? Special moments, and you do not get these moments sat at home, that is the thing. You can only watch other people have them. And not quite get the full experience yourself. Oh, I love it, absolutely love this. have a pet one. But it'd be nice to have a pet seal. Yeah, it's the same one every time. It keeps coming to have a smell. Here he is. I don't want to leave because that is just the most splendid thing spending time with seals like that. But there is more to explore and I also need to find somewhere to pitch a tent so we're going to have to get on. Right, this is a lovely spot. All these different arches. I'm going to squeeze through a tiny little one here. Secret Bay. What's this? Wow. Ooh. Pushing me onto the little beach, but there's nowhere else to go, so I need to turn around. <laughs> I've been in tighter spots. Whoa, oh, that made me jump. It's the seal in front of me. I just flips and turns to go back down again. Squeeze through here. Oh, wow. Spectacular. Well, this is the best bit I'd say about exploring the coastline by kayak. You get to find these little sort of bays which are just yours. No one else can get to and you'll just be there all alone. We've got the lighthouse just around the corner here. And from this point, I've got to bear off around that sort of 
top peninsula around the other side and then uh, hopefully we're going to find a place to camp ah oh, just to be able to breathe properly breathe i love it it's about high tide so just sort of slack water at the minute very sort of calm so from this point on it should be sort of fairly easy going all the way down the coast to be honest it's been pulling me all the way down the coast anyway because there is quite a current that sort of drags you southbound by it's nice though it is lovely yep this is just happiness you sort of a uh, look up happiness you'll see a picture of what this is all this all this all the wildlife all the outside yep that is what happiness is made it to shore that was really hard work the wind was just constantly against me and uh, to be fair it's giving offshore wind so a little bit unexpected that but anyway i battled on and i made it so now it's just a case of trying to find somewhere i can just pitch a tent and just <sighs> survive the night really just enough just so i can get back uh, and head northbound again in the morning but yeah, that's just epic. The whole thing so far, epic. I've just been for a run up both sides of this sort of cliff and I found a couple of places I can pitch a tent, which I'll just do for the night. And uh, as long as I'm up early and out of the way, I don't think I'm going to bother anyone. So you can see though, in that last sort of 20 minutes, the tide is already on its way out. I just did the rear camera at one point and uh, I just flicked off the rear lid and I didn't realize and I probably paddled for 10 or 15 minutes with it off and it was only just slightly off but there was a little bit of water that was obviously just coming over the boat and uh, I've got a little bit of water in here this is exactly why you dry bag everything just to make sure that your kit is all safe and sound and dry for when you get to camp Anyway, I will get this water out and I'll uh, hide the boat somewhere and then we'll take all the kit up onto the uh, cliff tops and we'll set up camp. Well, that was hard work carrying all my gear up those steps. <laughs> Proper exercise. I need it though, I really do. And I love it too. Anyway, first job, we need to get some clothes on. So dry clothes, dry shoes, get rid of this horrible, heavy clobber. Oh, release those shoulders. Oh, this is nice. This is nice. Oh. There we go.
Wow, <laughs> I can breathe again. That is nice though, what, what a difference. Ah, oh, that is better, some nice clean clothes on. Just comfortable, as soon as you get in this, it's like just a hug straight away, really nice. So yeah, I'm gonna chill out here a bit. I'm gonna uh, just wait until I put the tent up because this is sort of like a public footpath sort of thing down here. And uh, I don't really wanna bother anyone, so. We'll just sort of keep it as stealth as possible and as late as possible before we sort of set up camp, that's all. But I prefer to sort of be here in like a public area than in a private farmer's field. So that was my choice. Not ideal, but it'll do the trick for tonight. And as I say, if you leave no trace and you're not bothering anyone, you know, no one's going to know and it's, uh, it's fine to do. When you're kayaking you've got to assume that everything's going to get wet and that does include your shoes so the ones that i wore in the boat they're soaking wet but i've got a second pair here and these are sag uaros <laughs> never heard of them before but i bought a pair of these and they are the comfiest shoes i've ever had seriously they're just like a really lightweight you can see that decent sort of sole on them but just all flexible sort of material super comfy but yeah, if, if your shoes do get wet, then the one way of uh, combating that is to wear some waterproof socks. So these ones are by extremities, and I've been wearing these for running in a couple of times when I wear trainers, just to keep my feet dry. And they're just super comfortable. They just feel like a normal sock. So as a just in case, they're a pretty good thing to carry when you're kayaking. Let's get them on. So for dinner we have chicken meatballs and pasta. And there's tomato pasta salad, two ration packs. I'm just gonna bang them together because I'm starving. So let's get this shoved into this massive pot. And I'm just gonna stir it all in together. That was easy. <laughs> Jeez, I like my eyebrows. It's looking good. Wow, I feel I need this. So a quick test. That is not bad. Have a look in there. Yep, that'll keep me going. I've just made myself a cup of tea, so I'm gonna go take in the last bit of light rose hip tea <laughs> i don't have a clue what this is going to be like wet and warm just how i like it wow look at the sky bit of color in it oh exciting now sit back on my bench oh. let's have a taste of this <laughs> just says like water, hot water. It'll do. It'll do. been chilling out for the last couple of hours just sat on this lovely little bench just taking in this stunning sea view so yes 
just uh, lovely really just to get out and just chill anyway I've not seen a soul so I'm going to uh, get back to where my camp is going to be I'm going to get that tent set up it's getting on a bit anyway the sun's nearly set it's about nearly coming up nine o'clock I think so yeah let's get this tent up that was quick all right let's get inside Flat on some grass, <laughs> like a pillow. Well, that will do definitely for the night. We're a little bit sort of uh, getting cased in here by some bushes as well, so I don't think the wind will be too much of a problem, even though it has given fairly high winds for tonight. I think it's gonna be getting to 20 miles an hour anyway. <laughs> I just love getting in a tent. Oh dear such a simple thing and it really does make me happy anyway let's get all this kit in and then at least uh, it's going to be all safe and dry well I've got all the night duties done tidied up a bit got everything sort of in the tent and uh, I'm now currently in the sleeping bag brush my teeth all the usual game and now I'm gonna get myself a uh, off to sleep it's just dropped dark now and it's like 11 o'clock just after so i need to uh, set an alarm get up early and just get packed away just before anyone sort of knows that i've been here that's all oh what a fantastic day though just incredible just to be actually part of nature you know part of a colony all those birds just like flying about all over and making themselves known and then the seals i mean that was just yeah that was the best part of the day definitely just having those uh, seals play around and try to steal my paddle and what have you but yeah just actually be able to stroke one as well just yeah just incredible so yeah that's just been total highlight of the day i mean obviously exploring all these caves and you know the little sort of archways and everything are just beautiful you know this is just carved out by the sea over these last few million years or whatever but yeah, amazing, absolutely amazing. So I'm gonna lay this lug, set an alarm for the morning so we can get up nice and early and then hopefully no one will know that we've even been here. And that is the plan. And then back on the water, ready for the next part of the adventure. ASA absolutely ace anyway we'll see the in morning morning flowers i slept pretty well but i was woke this morning prior to my 6 30 alarm by the sun just turning this into a bit of an oven because it's definitely pretty warm in here so i'm going to get myself out and uh, packed up quickly as i can and then I'm going to have to hang around a bit really because the tide times are not favourable. Uh, it's pretty much low tide and because of that it's going to take a, a few hours before it's getting to the point where it's worth paddling that's all coming up to the uh, rocks and you know through all that so anyway we'll get ourselves out and packed up and then from there we'll just have to chill a while nice to have these lazy days where you don't really have to be anywhere it's just a, a good feeling to have so let's go relax
There we go then, all ready to get on the water again. And the water is just perfect, absolutely flat. No waves whatsoever, no swell, just perfect. So yes, this is gonna be a glorious day in this sunshine, just enjoying another lovely day on planet Earth, eh? Right, let's get out there. wind that's uh, wanting to push me this way which is good because it's pushing me back up to where I want to be and also the tide is coming in that way so hopefully it should be quite speedy back up the coastline. That is nice though isn't it look at this oh wow look at this I've got a bee I've got a bee that's come so low <laughs> come on you don't want to get stuck in there Look at that, out in the middle of nowhere, and I've got a bee. I'm not a flower, come on. Come on, little man. Come on. <laughs> Don't go in there, because there's no, no way out. Oh dear, there we go. Nature always comes and finds you. here basking on the rocks we go on this side that's just being very inquisitive right dudes been a pleasure hanging with you. See you later. Come back again. See you again another time. Let's just get out.
one's massive. It just keeps going on and on. Being a bit cautious just because there's some seals down the bottom here resting I brought a torch with me so we'll go down this far end and have a scan and see what we can see see if I can do this This is like a complete restart. It just total refreshes everything about you. Every cell of your body. And that's the thing, like, with your body, I'd say it's the second most important thing we have in life. And like, if you don't look after it, you know, you're not gonna be able to get out and do these sorts of things. And if you don't get out and do these sorts of things, it'll soon be knackered and it will not be able to do it and then you'll be watching other people do it wishing that you'd done more with your body so yeah use your body while you still can so important and the most important thing is time <laughs> that we have that's the most magical thing we have and that's the other thing you've got to get out and use that time wisely because again that soon ticks away and it ends up being nothing. So yep, time and your body. Utilize both to the full capacity that you can, because it soon goes. Coffee. Got to be a bit careful though, I'm pinning against the rock. Got to time it right.
It's a bit rough to uh, start exploring some of these caves. I'm just staying out behind this surf. To say it was meant to be flat today, not quite flat. It's cool to be bobbing about though. Oh dear, sat with the puffins. Just having a look at the beach to see where it's best to, to land. It's going to come this way a little bit. go back safe and sound I've just dragged the boat up and out of the surf and that's just going to give me a little bit of time to unpack and then uh, I've got the arduous task of carrying everything back up to the car which is quite a long way it's just part of it though you just got to get used to working hard just to get the pleasure of the nature that we've just been in playing with those seals and everything so uh, yeah just awesome absolutely awesome right let's get on with this then hard carrying them bags up there definitely too much waiting I should have probably done it in two journeys really but anyway just got to do these things my arms are like four inches longer though like a gorilla knuckles dragging on ground anyway just the boat to do and then I'm going to take myself out for a lovely lunch somewhere a well-deserved lunch So there we go, the end of another pretty damn awesome adventure. Just such a nice thing to do, get out to play with the wildlife. Oh, I'm gonna put that down. <sighs> I'm a bloke, I can't multitask. <laughs> oh dear, what a pleasure though. That's just been absolutely incredible. And if you've enjoyed this adventure, Check out my other adventures. There are honestly some pretty damn epic ones. And some of the ones that haven't even got that many sort of watches are brilliant videos and they're just sat there waiting to be seen. So just check them out. If you'd like to contribute towards the channel and help me continue making these videos, then please do so by 
either buying me a coffee with the buy me a coffee link in the description or you can join the patreon as well link in the description i'm also on instagram which is another way of just sort of keeping in touch but yes it's a lovely world if you've got a body that works use it because a lot of people who've done and they wish they had so just you know have some respect for what you've got and just to try your best to get outside and then just just enjoy it all so from me and the beautiful green <laughs> we'll see you another time take care